What I can't believe as I look at myself in this viewfinder is how much I look like a man right now. I look like straight up a dude. Look at this face right now. What is going on here? Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing sort of a chit chat, get ready with me style video as I get ready because I'm about to film a shitload of videos for you guys. So I need to put some makeup on for that so that I don't look like dude face in all the rest of my videos. So I figured I might as well film it and I will just get cracking. Today I think I want to go for smoky lower lash line, not a lot in the crease here, and I just want it to be like really sexy and cat-like and feathered out, and I just want to keep it to like a nude lip, I think, because I'm going to be filming so many videos that the more makeup or the lipstick or whatever I have on my lips, just the more I worry about it, the more shit I got on my teeth. After I get into editing, I realize I have like a little black speck on my tooth through the entire thing, so I'm just going to get cracking on my eye makeup. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek shadows for this because I want to stick to something that I know is good and that is just going to be really easy to do. So I'm going to stick with all these neutral tones right here. Maybe I'll use a little bit of Cocoa Bear. We'll see. So I'll put on a layer of the Beaches and Cream and um, I'm just going to sort of pack that on the outer, like middle to outer third of my eye in sort of a V-shape, kind of cat lining it out. And for that I'm going to be using my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush because it's just sort of small and it'll, I don't need to give you a reason why, I don't need to tell you why I'm going to use a fucking brush. For most of this look, I'm going to be using the Sigma E30 pencil brush because it's so small and it can create that perfect look that I'm looking for. You guys will see what I mean, what, like what kind of look I'm going for. Um, the next color I'm going to use is the Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. I haven't been eating carbs for like the last six months and I ate fuck load of carbs today and yesterday. I mean like I ate sushi and I ate noodles and today I ate a sandwich. Oh my god, I feel like 10 tons of shit. Oh dear. So as you guys can see, I'm just sort of taking the the, the lighter colors and I'm just sort of building up. I'm going to I'm going to build it up because I don't want to just go straight into black because sometimes that can look really shitty. I feel so motivated for 2015 to just like make really awesome videos for you guys and keep on a regular schedule and I will post a video all about this I think but on my Instagram I did uh, post saying that I'm going to try my new year's resolution for Instagram is to try and post a high quality makeup photo every single day for the year of 2015 so that is my goal I hope I can stick with it because I hate saying I'm going to do something and then not doing it next color I'm going to take is Makeup Geek Latte and I'm just sort of doing the exact same thing but I'm taking it a little further down each time so that the transition kind of shades up. I'll also blend this out a lot more at the end but um, I'm just making sure to kind of put this closer to the lash line and I'm going to have the black even lower and so it really gives the smoky outer lash effect. Now I'm taking even one step darker and I'm going to take Makeup Geek Mocha. Now is where it's going to get intense because I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is the matte black shade, and I'm going to just really smoke out that area. This looks crazy, but I swear to you it will look good. Now I'm going to grab my new favorite eyeliner, and that is the NYC Liquid Liner. I had tried this like six months ago, and I absolutely hated it when I tried it before. Because maybe I got a bad batch or something, but it was like so runny, and it didn't have any pigmentation to it. But now I just make sure to shake it up really good before I use it. Um, I'll swatch a little bit on the back of my hand for you. Super black, and it dries really matte, so it's like, oh my gosh, like all my all-time favorite now. So I'm going to just try to take that as close as I can to the lash line and just do a real thin wing just hard for me. It always end up being super thick. That's kind of exactly what I was looking for. Now, the true test of time will be whether or not I can recreate that same wing on this eye. And I can guarantee you with absolute certainty that I will not be able to. I did it. I can't believe I did it. I actually did a thinned winged eyeliner. And now I'm going to put on my, uh, what do you call it? What you call it? What's it called? Eyeliner. Water eyeliner. Water liner? Eyeliner? 
for some really irritating reason I cannot find my eyeliner, which I just had it yesterday. I'm sitting at my vanity. <laughs> I don't know where it could be, so I have to use this stupid one. And it's the Makeup Forever Coal Pencil in 1K. I don't like this one because it smudges down, whereas like the Rimmel Scandalize one is so much better. This is what I'm talking about with the Makeup Forever Coal Pencil. You see this shit? It does this every time you wear it. Like, it sinks below your lash line, so you have to, like, really smoke it out. Like, I mean, not that I don't like smoking out my lower lash line, but with this stuff, you have to. Because it leaves, like, those little trail marks. So you have to then smoke out your entire lash line because you wanted to wear your black water liner. Now I'm just going to pop on my eyelashes. I'm going to be using the House of Lashes hashtag winging lashes, and I will be right back. And it sounds like, I sound like a real douchebag when I say hashtag winging, but that's legitimately what the case says. So just so you guys don't think that I'm a total D-bag. Hashtag winging. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Tarte Captivating Blush because right now, this shit is my life. Just to add a little bit of color to my lips, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tipsy Lip Crayon Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment thing. And that is the finished face eye look thing for you today. I know that wasn't the most chatty chit chat get ready with me, but I just didn't have a lot to say because I'm going to be talking a lot in my upcoming videos. So that is this face. I wanted it to be a lot more natural because I've got a lot of videos that I'm filming today and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting lipstick all over my teeth. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, those are all at Robbie D. Christie. Also, if you guys would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll update you when I put out new videos. I think some people aren't getting my subscriptions in their sub box, which pisses me off, to be quite honest with you. The hell is the point of subscribing if you don't know when the person put out a new video? I don't know what that what that's all about. I've got some really cool videos coming up, or I've got lots of videos coming out because I'm going to be posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you guys want to, follow me on Instagram. I know I talked about that before, but if you do, I'm going to be posting a high-quality makeup photo every single day for the year of 2015. I'm going to try, at least. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Bye!